Hi, Dallas and McNamara. Welcome back to Pop Sugar TV. We all want to prolong that tan as long as possible. So today, Bella Sugar TV's Kirby Johnson is going to tell us how to do that. So whether you're going on vacation or you have a sunless tanning addiction like myself, <laughs> what are what are those tips to prolonging that tan? Well, the number one thing to do, first and foremost, is to not exfoliate. And you know, okay. exfoliation has a lot of benefits, but if you just got an airbrush tan or maybe you just took you know a trip to the beach, mm -hmm. exfoliation is not your friend. And here's why. Because obviously, if you're going to use a loofah or a scrub on your skin, it's mm -hmm. gonna take away that beautiful airbrush that you just got and paid probably you know upwards of $35 to $40 mm -hmm. for. And then if you did go to the beach and you did get an actual tan, by sloughing off all your dead skin cells, you're exfoliating off your natural tan too. So, so I got the same for shaving. Um, actually, you know what? You can shave before, but okay. afterwards, definitely don't do that. What are those ingredients we should stay away from? Well, one thing a lot of people, I think, you know, really put in the forefront of their mind is mineral oil because mm -hmm. it's very hydrating and it keeps your skin soft and hydrated for a long time. But mineral oil actually will break down uh, the DHA in some okay. of those pants. And you know, DHA is what colors your, your airbrush tan. Mm -hmm. So you want to keep that as long as possible. What is that in? What is mineral oil in? Mineral oil is actually in baby oil. Oh my gosh. And so a lot of women, you know, I feel like all they the go, time. Yeah, you know, it's just something that you have, you know, around. It's cheap. You can keep it with you and it hydrates. Mm -hmm. But then you're like, why am I splotchy? And it's because of mineral oil. So things like Curel, um, okay. it's actually really lightweight. It'll keep you hydrated for a long amount of time, but you won't notice that your, you know, tan is going away within okay. like two to three days. So do we look on the back to make sure like no mineral yes. oil? Or how do we find that? You know, actually, you know, this one has glycerin in it, and that's okay. like a nice alternative. It'll keep your skin soft and hydrated, but mineral oil definitely, like this one doesn't have it. Aveeno doesn't have it either. Okay, good yeah. to know. So what are those tricks to not having splotches? Because I get so <laughs> splotchy, it's embarrassing. You don't want anyone to know you have a spray tan. Definitely. But I always, people always know because I've got splotches, I've got stuff going on, like how do I fix that? I know, until the day we can permanently be airbrushed tan, right. there's going to be splotches involved. So one thing, um, I'm pretty sure you're, whoa, it's slipping on my hands, that's how soft this Curel is. Um, so one thing that I know you will like is Jergens. I'm a big fan of this Natural stuff. glow, it's amazing. It's mm -hmm. basically, you know, just something you put on in the morning after your shower and your legs and your whole body are tanned, at least a shade within a few days. I like this too because it's got different levels, so I'm really fair and they have, I think this is the fair one actually. Yeah, this is the fair one. You know, I'm a little bit more um, of a yellow complexion than you, but I like the fair just because it gives me a subtle glow mm -hmm. without going overboard either. And it doesn't smell it bad. It smells great. That's yeah. always a plus. Always a plus. And I think a dead giveaway for, you know, having a, you know, a airbrush or a cream mm -hmm. tan is the smell. So it's nice. It's firming. Yes. You also want that. <laughs> firming and a tan. Put it on Soul. your legs. Put it on your legs. <laughs> so then after that, um, if you notice right here, we okay. have a towelette. And this is actually, you know, it's these have been around for the past couple of years, but they're very, very helpful when trying to conceal spots. They kind of scare me, I'm not gonna lie. They're yeah. very intimidating, you know. Um, they look like a makeup wipe, and I don't know if you want to open yeah, this. Sure. I'll let you do the honors. So it does look like a look makeup remover. Okay. Wipe. And this is gonna cover your entire body, just this one wipe. So head to toe, you're gonna get a tan, but also if you do have suntan lines, mm -hmm. you know, the white spots, you just, you know, blot it, you put it in, you know, a little circular motion, okay. and the next morning it's gone, it'll blend into your natural tan. So this is great, you can use it for a variety of different things, exactly. whether it's just covering up those lines or Full tan. Exactly, yes. And they come with like, you know, half body, full mm -hmm. body, whatever you really need. I even use this on my face and it doesn't make me break out. Oh wow. But one thing to note with this one is do wash your hands afterwards or else you'll have the you know uh. like the brown and orange, you know, palms and fingertips. If I have this tomorrow, like. you guys know why. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So that is, you know, a really actually kind of, you know, easy way in the morning when you want to, you know, mm -hmm. get a nice glow. Just put it on and you're out the door. And uh, lastly, uh, one thing that I notice is if I go to an airbrush, you know, tanner and mm -hmm. I get tan, maybe it rains, maybe I get a spot on me, like from the water, washing of the hands. That's the worst. And especially mm -hmm. um, if you have been wearing like a watch for a couple of mm -hmm. days after your airbrush tan, it'll rub. Or rings. I have like a ring that I always wear. These I always get like weird rings around my fingers. Yeah. Well, I mean, we all suffer mm -hmm. from that. And I. I really like Infinity Su Infinity Suns Glow on the Go because it's you know the quintessential tan in a can, <laughs> um, but basically it's come out looking olive. olive. And instead of looking orange, so it's very, you know, more green, more brown, and it works for any complexion. Okay. So you can go just ahead and one try. for all? Yeah, okay. one for all. So you can try it, you can just pat it on your hand. In about two to four hours, you're gonna have this really luminous glow that doesn't look overdone. Mm -hmm. My hands um, are gonna look great tomorrow. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> it's a beautiful, tanner than the rest of your body, right? Totally. But at least you know it works. Um, and one thing I love about it is, you know, you just put those, you know, 
pat it in those spots, but a lot of people wonder like, how can I fix the spots? Just put it on a paper towel, mm -hmm. pat it on, and you're good to go. So this, when you're gonna apply it to your entire body, is just a sunless tan, do you use the same technique? Oh, well I use it a little bit differently. I mean, okay. basically it's like an airbrush tan, so you put it on your face, you can hold it as far or as close mm -hmm. as you need to. I actually define my arms and my abs with this if I'm going to the beach just to, I need you know, that. you look, you know, pick me up. So it really is, you know, the, the tan at all. I really like it. I love it. that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Kirby, for all these amazing tips. Definitely going to be tan and bronze through winter time. <laughs> Definitely. All right, we'll see you guys next time on Pop Sugar TV.